and welcome to Gaming with Karma. This here is Amnesia, the Dark Descent. Uh, what part is this? What part is it's 18. It's 18, so I've been told. Uh, don't fall in the water. There's gonna be some fucking monsters. Uh, yeah. So we got we uh, we used the acid in the last episode, and we opened the gate, and a monster spawned, and I nearly shit me pants. Even though we only had like the shortest run in the world. So, yeah. Kind of embarrassed. August 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Finish my fucking drink. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. We're empty. He was obviously excited to get going, and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon, where he preferred to attempt his rituals. Not sure. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by Da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenberg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Okay, sounds like fun. Why did I do that? What did that do? I can't reverse what I just did. So. That was needed. Um, if I fall, I have to crouch under the bridge. Okay. I hate keyboard fucking controls. Having to hold shift and then W and then fucking press space to jump. I don't like it. I prefer controller. Pretty sure I tried the game on the controller, actually. I don't think it by default supports it. Okay, I have my controller here. I tried. Okay, so the controller does nothing. I just leave that there. Hopefully, I don't drop it. Do we have input? Bollocks. Right, let's put the controller back. Otherwise, that's going to drop and it's going to make a loud noise. It's going to scare the shit out of me, and I don't need that. Right, anyway, let's get going. Um, well, this whole place is scary as fuck. I don't want to go anywhere, but. Okay, let's make a quick dash. There. Okay, no monsters, but I still want to make a quick dash. I can't believe I'm still wearing these glasses from the last episode. Normally, I never actually get through a whole episode with them on. But this time, this time's different. Push. It's attached to a rusty chain in the sea. Okay. How about it? I am on it. Oh, it's on you, rusty bastard. Yeah! First try. I can carry this rock with me. I love you. Not you. Fucking rock. What are you talking about? No! What did I do then? What? Oh, okay. Um, let's go on with Adam, I suppose. I'll get you. I will. I promise. What's that bobbing in the water? I can't fucking see in these. Is that a fish? What the fuck is that? There's a fish there. What is that? Is that a crab or something? Okay. okay. I can see in these. Just not completely well. It's just like a little blurry. I, I just need to clean these glasses probably. <laughs> That's probably all it is. 1839. No, oh. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like 
standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying, but Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the sea. It isn't in my head. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. And so you should. Alright, let's turn this one too. Whatever you're doing, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm guessing there's monsters here now, but I need to get my rock. I, I can run under that, so... Yeah, okay. What? No, I want... No! Why can't I grab him? It was it was him, wasn't it? Well, I can't grab any of them. What are you? You're a rock. <gasps> You're my rock! Yeah, <laughs> That's why it's flailing around, because it messed up when I threw him in. I'm going to keep him. I'm going to pound so many enemies with him. Oh shit. Oh shit. Where are you? Can you leave the water? Yeah, I wouldn't know. They're invisible. Block it. Block it. No. Block it. Block the shit. I ain't even fucking touching it then. Stay. Oh, fuck. I don't have health. Hmm. Did I turn it all the way? I don't think I did. Nothing happened. I can't see for shit. That's not the glasses. That's the general game now. Yay. Fun. Okay, so the sewers aren't as big and open as I thought. So that's good. You stay. You stay right there, okay? You don't need to go for a swim. There's bad things in there, okay? No August 1839. It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? Yes. I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not sure if you heard that little noise. If anyone's familiar with Skype, I just got a message. So if you heard that, just ignore it. I'll get to that after the video because if you're lovely enough, no wait. I'll be patient. You knew I was recording, I think. That's the final straw. And I think... We are fucked. But, let's go, Mr. Rock. Now he needs a, no, he needs a better name than Mr. Rock. A name for a rock. That isn't the obvious. I'm not calling him Rocky. I've got it. Sir Rocketon. Sir Rocketon the third. So why not? Ah! You bastards, don't scare me. Wait, can I take you out of here? Tell me I can take him out of here. I'm not going to be happy. Are we done here? I don't... I, I don't... I don't... I don't even know. No. Can't take him out of here. How are we doing for time? Okay, we have a few more minutes. I just want to have a quick look around because I feel like we've missed something. Like there was a valve I turned that didn't do anything. So maybe we need to go back and turn that thing as we've turned all the other valves. Uh, it wasn't that one. 
straight across. I was expecting loads of water monsters here, but sadly, I'm disappointed you stay there. Okay, I don't know what it did, but there was no loud noise or anything when I turned that one, so... Who cares? Wait, I have to be sure this is going to bug me, and I don't want to have to come back. I want to turn it back around if I can. Okay. And that turns the steam on and off. I understand. I get it. I get it. Sorry, Sir Rockerton, but I have to leave you behind. We can't venture on anymore. We had a good time. I love you. But you know, I'm gonna go hungry. There's plenty of fish. Let's go. Leave. It didn't take you much fucking effort to leave, did it? Shut up, my cheek. Bastard. I didn't love you anyway. I'm actually a little sad that we lost the rock. <laughs> I no, I don't even understand it myself. I want to leave him behind. We must. We must. Wait, I need to mess around in the machine room stuff, don't I? Yeah. Right, how are we doing for time? I'm sure it's just not long ago. Okay, we have a few more minutes. Gives us a little bit of time to look around here. Which is good. Hmm. Actually, it's not good. Because I guarantee there's a monster here. Herbert, how did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't That's he nice. with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel, but things don't always turn out the way we plan. No, they do not, dear friend, whoever you are. Right, so let's get a lay of the area. Okay, we got three doors. You look the most important and probably locked. Let me guess. I open this. Go through. It closes behind me. So, obviously you gotta check the other ones first. Ooh, you open pretty rapidly. Um, oh my, what do we have here? And that does... Okay. Spinning this fast, but it's not doing much. Okay, um... Should I wait for it to let go and just crush my face? That'd be cool. That wouldn't be cool. I'd be dead. <laughs> that isn't good. No, not a good thought. Come on. Be real. This needs to go somewhere, clearly. Right here, we're taking this with us. We're just gonna leave it there. Another one? Okay. Ah. Well, let's get it. Oh. Okay. They're all stuck in their position. Isn't that just fine and fucking dandy? Except that isn't just fine and fucking dandy. That's a burden. I'd imagine. Because <laughs> if I have valves, we can't turn. They're obviously needed. Right. Right here. Let us go. 
But that's where we gotta end this episode, right? Yeah! Bang on time. Near, near enough. So, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, follow the channel on Facebook and blog links. Both of those pages in the description below. Have yourselves a nice day. Stay fabulous, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna fucking take these glasses off. Whoa. Love my vision. So, yeah. Good boy.